What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another VTI Legends Corner episode. I am your host and officer Orange Leader 398. Now today we're going to talk about probably the most important thing in the game, the characters themselves. Without these characters you can't really do anything, you can't win anything, you can't progress throughout the game. Characters are very important. And so we're going to kind of do a deep dive into characters. This might take a bit, so bear with me, but here we go. I'm going to go to my boy Jedi Knight Anakin. Very useful. Now, up here on the top, you're going to have a list of things. You have the character's name, and then you're going to have their alignment, which for Anakin is light side. You are going to have what kind of character he is. Characters are split into three different categories. You have the attacker, you have the support, and you have the tanks. The attackers are typically more of your offensive people who do higher damage. You're going to have your support characters who are more, you know, they put negative effects on the enemies or buff your team with positive effects. Uh, they could be healers as well. Uh... Your tanks are usually your thicker people. They're harder to uh, take out. They're meant to draw fire towards them and away from others. So Anakin here, he falls under the attacker category. Makes sense. He is also has what is called the leader tag. Why? Because he has the ability to have a leader bonus. Which, if unlocked... You, anyone on the team who is a Jedi and clone would have gained these abilities. So, that would be very helpful. But we don't have that unlocked yet. Uh, he is also considered part of the Galactic Republic and the Jedi. Which, uh, those tags, they make sense because he's from the Galactic Republic era and he's a Jedi. But why they give him certain tags and not others... Uh, we'll talk about that in a different video when we talk about synergy. But, that is what all of that stuff up there means. Now, if we go down here, you have his abilities. You'll see that his deft blade work, his basic, the attack he can use at the beginning of every turn, all the time, uh, is currently at level 1, but it can go all the way up to 8. And once it is at level 8, it will have better stats, you know, better chances of doing debuffs in this case. But how do you get that? Well, the game tells you right here. It requires character level 76. And also, it will require you to uh, use some materials. Earlier in the game, I got some Mach 1 and Mach 2 ability materials. That's how you're going to be upgrading your uh, attacks as well as your other abilities. So overpowering assault, to fully unlock that, you're going to be level 78. But look at that. You got this here just for that. Once you get to 8, look at all that added text. Look at all those other effects that you're going to get just from getting it up to that max level. That's very nice. So, now... Even if I were to take him up to level 16, which I could do, not going to, but I could theoretically take him up to 16, that's not going to help unlock this ability. Abilities are unlocked with gear. So in order to get the ability to be able to be upgraded and used at all, you have to upgrade the gear. Now this gear, which would be these boxes here that you can equip, all these fun things that you get throughout the battles, those help in two ways. First one is giving you different abilities. The higher your gear, the more things you unlock. Like his unique ability isn't until gear 4, as well as leader is gear 2. Now instead of equipping each individual piece 
I can wait till I collect them all and just hit the upgrade button. And it gives you a little upgrade character screen saying, hey, any gear that is not yet equipped will be equipped or crafted as needed. No, crafted as needed is kind of important. Now, nothing that I have currently needs to be crafted. I have the piece. However, as you move on into the higher levels, you might find pieces where you have to craft them. So let's see here, I'm looking. Here's one of those pieces. Now, this is a piece that is required. It's a Mach 2 Nerosav Electro Binoculars. That increases your strength, agility, tactics, and speed. Speed's important, so that's a nice piece of gear. Now, do note, I do have to be level 10 to equip it. But, I have to make this. And how do I make it? I use these components over here. So currently, I don't have a single one of these. So if I want to find out where it is, I hit the find button. Currently, I don't have any of the battles unlocked, but there's lots of places. So I could work towards either the 2F on the light, the 2I on normal, which would probably be the easier way to go, or I could do some uh, 4A on hard, since I do have the hard nodes unlocked on the light side and go there. Now it tells you whether the battles are light side or dark side and where to find them. So, I could also get lucky here. But, some gear you're going to have to craft. And in, to do that, it's going to require credits. So even if you have all these and the correct level, if you don't have enough credits to craft this, you're not going to be able to upgrade. So make sure you have enough credits. But as you see, we are now gear 2. We now have our leader ability, which is going to be very helpful in battles to come. Because we now get those extra benefits that we didn't have before. Now, let's see here on this screen. We also have a area over here. These are called mods. We will come back to them once we reach level 50 with a character at level 50. Uh, XP you guys know about. Down here in this bottom corner, you see we have a lightsaber. In order to do anything with that, you have to reach gear 13. And these are called relics. And you can increase their relics, which will increase specific stats that are beneficial to that certain character. Unlike gear and mods that might benefit a lot of other wider variety of things, relics are more geared towards that character and what they're supposed to be in terms of, uh, you know, kind of who they are. So Anakin, once you get to relics, his damage output starts to go really high. Because, I mean, he's an attacker. He's supposed to be dealing all that damage. So that's very helpful. Now, down below here, you'll see we do have something called a power. Now, what that means is that based on the gear equipped, the level of the character, the abilities unlocked, and what level they are, your character is given a power. And essentially... There are some missions that require certain characters to be at a specific power level to enter them and to use them in the fights. Uh, territory battles have a couple of those where you have to have certain characters at certain power to use them. Uh, but very early game, the power of the character doesn't really matter that much. All that does is it helps add to what your total uh, galactic power is. Which currently with what I have, which is four characters, I'm at a 2,000. Uh, currently in the game at the time of this video, I think the highest currently is like 12 million, maybe 300,000 power is currently the top. So lots of uh, room to improve here on this account. Now, we're going to go to our friend Ahsoka Tano. She currently has 21 out of 15 shards needed. Now, 
what does that mean? Well, we're going to be able to promote this character as the game is so uh, inclined to tell us here. So, once you have collected enough shards, you are able to promote a character. Now, this can get expensive. It starts off at 10k, which, you know, that's fine. I have 117k, right? Well, once you get a character to 7 stars, to get them from 6 to 7 stars, it costs a million credits. So even if I had enough uh, shards right now, I would not be able to take her up to that max. So, her stats have increased, her power has increased, and being 2 stars, she's now a stronger character. So if we go back in here... Okay, I love the rewards. Those are very helpful. But her stats are now going to be stronger. She's going to be faster. She now has a speed of 85. And she has a higher power than Jedi Knight Anakin, who is a gear above her at gear 2. Same level, but because of that second star, it boosted her power a little bit. Gave her a stat increase. So very helpful. Now, when you go through the game, it's a character collection game, right? So, there's going to be characters where you have enough shards to unlock them for the first time. I'm going to go ahead and unlock Kylo Ren. Now, sometimes when you initially get enough shards and you go to the home screen, you're going to see a little box pop up that says activate and you have the character. Well, if you accidentally click out of it, don't worry. You can still get to the character on this screen and click activate. It's only 100 credits to do. Very cheap to activate characters. So even those that unlock at a higher star, it is still just 100 credits. And bada bing, bada boom, you now have a new character. Now, they all start off at level 1. And depending on how much, uh, how many shards are required, will determine at what star they unlock. So someone like Genosian Soldier or Scavenger Ray, they require 10 shards. Just like Kylo Ren here, they're going to be a one star unlock. Anything that requires, I believe it is 25, such as Triple Zero, Sortie, and Admiral Piet, those will unlock at two stars because it's a 10 to activate and the 15 to go to the second star. So it's 25. And then after that, it'll bump up. I don't know if there's any three stars off the top of my head. Uh, if there are, they would be 55 shards. And above that, I believe you're looking at 80 shards which would be a four star unlock. So it is quite a few shards for some of those upper level characters, but for these lower level characters it is nice to get them unlocked. So that way you're able to use them right away. So I'm unlocking scavenger Ray here, who we got some shards for earlier. Uh, she's going to be a fifth for the team, which is very nice and very helpful. Once again, starts at level 0 with a 10 shard unlock. Uh, you get the 1 star. Now, if you have more than enough shards when you do the unlock or even the promotion, do note that you do get to keep those shards towards that next tier. So I'm already 4 out of 15 for Scavenger Ray and 6 out of 25 for Sokotano towards that third star. So... Um, for characters right now, that's about all you need to know is just kind of reading those different things and seeing them, uh, keeping your characters leveled up and geared up can be very helpful. Obviously, as you go further in the game, you'll unlock more gear. You'll be able to find pieces like this and be able to farm for them to unlock for your characters. So. Thank you guys for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful in any way, shape, or form, make sure to give it a like. Give it that thumbs up. 
And if you want to know when I'm having more videos posted, because this is going to be a very long series, uh, hit that subscribe button. That way, anytime I put out a new video, you are notified right away. Once again, I appreciate you guys for coming out. Uh, if you need any other help, I got a playlist with some different things in there. Uh, and as always, watch your six, know who's got your back, and as always, peace.